Hello everyone, Jesse Webb Traders Pro. Markets got a little bit ugly yesterday. Let's take a look at um, current trends. We didn't uh, we didn't move uh, from well actually we did from um, bullish in a bear market. We were at mildly bearish yesterday. Still continuing at mildly bearish. It's getting very close to being bearish again in a bear market and. I'll show you that chart pattern here on the momentum. Once we are, we were up in this upper range. Now we're, we've traveled all the way back this direction. We're now on the, on the other half of this hold range and precariously close to notching back over into a sell, back into a short term downturn. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that. We've definitely got lots of indication that there is weakening uh, <clears throat> happening. That's part of the reason why we want to look at this day to day because it is kind of a slow moving process and uh, very seldom do you ever look at a chart and say, uh, you know, the we were here and now we're here and that was easy to be able to forecast. It's just simply a day to day process of analyzing the markets and seeing what the trend is and what the uh, possibilities are or I should say what the probabilities are so we're we've now we've also got breath which is moving kind of in a trendless state now which is a that 50 50 half the stocks of S&P 500 are trending up the other half are trending down sentiment is still positive but has has been um, moving down a little bit from some of those extremes it, it just was just has been really extreme this upper band reaches to a hundred and it's been up it's been way up above a hundred here for a length of time so it's just been stuck tight right up against that upper range and essentially what that means is that there's just complacency in the market there's no fear in the market yet and so all of this complacency will sometimes uh, will sometimes as a contrarian type indicator forecast a reversal because if everybody's positive if everybody's bullish then typically that's the time not to be bullish and at least at, at the extremes and that's where we're at is at these extremes so and we're definitely seeing some cracking in this current trend we've seen buy sell ratio now uh, a, a bump up to a negative buy sell with with uh, sells now 2200 over a thousand buys roughly in the database that puts the buy sell ratio to 0.42 so uh, two for every two stocks that are sell well, there's one stock that's buy so internals are weakening and we've seen sentiment we know that that's also reversed and I talked about this yesterday this this location right here on the markets really got a hold if we look at S&P 500 uh, we're seeing that it's sitting right on this trend line very close to it and it's kind of broken down through this support area now we talked yesterday about it possibly bouncing here off of this support and it just sliced right through that so that's not a it's not a real good sign and again we're we're looking for indications of trend and this is certainly slipping and we talked about we what we want is we either want all green or we want all red well we're getting more and more red and it's about to slip back into that red side so is that trend going to continue that direction or is it going to bounce uh, at, at a you know there is a support level right here we'll see if we get some kind of a bounce if not we, we uh, there's a very good chance that we could see this bear market roll back over again and see significant more downside so whatever that means for you and your portfolio that's the, that's the perspective to take the bias I talk about bias coming in well that's our bias that we're looking at we're mildly in a bearish bear market traders should consider trading bearish bias raising stop levels on winners selling losers um, and again and or variations of that in terms of hedging with inverse ETFs or just flat out selling we talked about that Dow 10 strategy uh, a couple of days ago I believe where we're just focused on the Dow Jones industrials and we're focused on buy signals it was at 10 as of yesterday it dropped back all the way to 3 so we also are seeing if you're just using the Dow as an indicator you're now getting you know the vast majority of the Dow is either in a downtrend in that sell signal or in the hold stuck in the middle right there and only a couple in that buy range Walmart actually had uh, reported some uh, 
some slowdown. They gapped lower, and then they actually traded all the way back up higher. So that's a that's still a pretty bullish pattern uh, on Walmart right here. Still a whole, still a bullish profile here. But we're down to you know we're only down to three stocks in that group now. Cisco also being one of them. It had good earnings, gapped higher. Bump, gapped all the way up to that extreme and now be maybe pulling back into some sp support also and united health also it's been bottoming out still in a long-term downtrend there as well so that it's one that's been floundering a little bit so a lot of weakness in the dow stocks that uh, that may accelerate we'll see how we'll see kind of what today brings if we get a counter trend bounce back up the new buy list there's nothing real spectacular here uh, there was this first stock uh, Sigma Lithium SGML had a big gap, so it's already moved all the way up to the extreme range. Remember that I mentioned on the momentum, if you mouse over this little arrow, it says 242, and I can compare that down here with that momentum. So as I'm scrolling over, and I kind of want to see how a stock, at what point a stock becomes extreme with it within its own momentum chart pattern, you can see that right here, down there that's 221 during this peak it was 170 along this peak it was got up into that 200 range peaked out here so it, it jumped up pretty quickly uh, probably becomes some some type of an announcement or earnings I really didn't look but uh, these this stock like that may need some time to pull back if you see it gap higher on that very first day I'd give it a little bit of time uh, here's a, also a decent pattern bullish profile here bullish trending profile but an ugly candlestick where it actually gapped higher traded lower traded back down and then settled here so a lot of uncertainty on that particular bar which you can still analyze even though we have a bullish trend profile you can still analyze the chart pattern and look to see yes that went higher but it traded lower that black candlestick where it just basically represents a down day where it actually opens higher and then closes lower than where it opened uh, and inside of the trend signal setting when you're here you'll just see that as a black bar so any of these black bars inside of a green day just means that it's a down day inside of that overall uptrend and you can just simply toggle back to look to see oh yeah there's a couple of down days if i go back then here's those two down days, black bars inside of green, inside of a yellow hole. It can also happen inside of the red, as you'll notice there as well. So you can utilize that and click back and forth. Um, the uh, Helix, there's a couple of oil stocks that look decent. Again, big breakouts here, already already into that extreme range, gapped higher and then kind of traded lower. So again, not, not real ideal looking type patterns. You want to see a good confirmation bar that opens here trades lower and is just solid the entire way up that's a good looking those are good confirmation bars this is not a great confirmation bar plus it's already to the extreme range uh, but there were a couple of these uh, let me go back to here and uh, I wanted to go to here it was where was it it was down a little bit oh it's PBF I skipped over that one that is also in the list a move lower gap higher move lower and then a pretty solid bar yesterday so keep an eye on those so there's a few stocks in that watch list again uh, it because we are seeing that short term slide we're see we're, we know that we're still in a bear market we've got this long term downtrend yes we've been bottoming yes we've been starting to move back up again but we uh, the short term move may it just may simply prevent you from looking for any things to be adding into at this point in time if you don't have full access to the site you can sign up with the link below and we look forward to having you have a great day today